All right, guys, and welcome back to another video. This time we're in, or back in, the GTX Sports Car Series. Uh, we're in the Mustang once again. I'm really enjoying this car, even though it's not the fastest car in the series. I think the Audi is probably a little bit faster, uh, or, or the fastest car in the series, but this car's quite good on the straights, and uh, it's just sort of the first car I've sort of um, learned to drive in the series. Um, I had three cars, which I didn't even realize were the cars I owned I thought there was just three cars in the championship but it turns out there were three cars from the VIP pass and there's about 10 to 15 in the whole world uh, championship here but coming into the first couple of corners around mid Ohio it's been quite hectic and we've managed to make our way up into seventh position there a pretty good start nonetheless and uh, this race was quite annoying it was pretty frustrating as well I got frustrated myself uh, mostly because there was quite a few rammers and I felt like it was kind of not needed. I felt like maybe a little bit I gave it out to some people but there were two people in it who took me out for no reason and that's why I kind of got a bit aggressive. I didn't take out anyone but I kind of made it a bit harder, a bit aggressive defensive moves and overtakes and uh, yeah there were a, a few instances maybe two or three or three or four where we had quite a few rammers which just wasn't on uh, I think we managed to get up into the podium positions and we had one guy there he took us out and then we got back onto the track and someone else took us out there uh, on purpose there wasn't like accident accident ones they were just on purpose taking me out sort of moves and then I think we rejoined and we made our way up into uh, near the podium positions at the end and uh, something happens on the final lap as well so yeah we had quite a few idiots in this race i was kind of one of them um but i didn't i wasn't i wasn't you know taking it too far to the point where i was just ramming people off uh, i've been a bit aggressive but um that was mostly because of the frustration from that but uh coming to the beginning of lap two we're into fourth position here we've had a pretty good start i don't think this car was the fastest round here i think maybe the audi was maybe the fastest but there is quite a long straight here and i don't think the audi it's quite good in a straight line. We can see we've closed up the gap quite massively to Barranco there in a straight line. And uh, if you haven't seen a couple of videos, I've put a lot of oversteer in this car. Uh, made it very responsive. So it's quite hard to drive. I'm still learning how to drive this sort of way. Um, that's why some points you might see me quite fast in the corners and some points quite slow. I know the previous video to this one we was sort of somewhat a little bit down to a guy in the same car as us uh, as we were battling freeway for the win um, but I'm still learning how to drive the car which is uh, got quite a bit of oversteer but it is on purpose it is to sort of um, if you can learn to drive a car like that and keep it balanced uh, you know it is going to be faster than a car with understeer so that is just sort of the aim of, of, of setting up the car like this but we're still keeping on the, the back end of Barranco we're a lot closer this time on to the sort of beginning of the straight which is going to come up so I think we're going to have a, a pretty good or easy overtake but I think we're going to it's going to happen before that coming into the little hairpin at the top of the hill there and uh, we're still skipping turn one uh, I think there's a couple of people in the vod uh, lobby who is doing this so you might as well use it for the advantage it's still in the game turn 10 um, they still haven't fixed that I was complaining a couple of videos ago about little bugs here and there like the pit stop glitch being in the game from turn uh, not from turn 10 but from day one and um, yeah it's really disappointing to see that sort of stuff uh, still in the game and uh, it's getting to the point where the game's been out for six months now and having stuff like that in the game just gives me less and less faith for the future of the game and I'm still having a lot of fun that I think this is the best series turn 10 have produced on Forza and uh, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun still but slowly but surely I'm you know I'm playing the game less and um, I'm, ha I'm having overall less fun I will say and uh, yeah we'll just have to see I know there's some major updates coming um, we'll have to see how they go about but I think I'm more annoyed about these little glitches and little issues still in the game uh, which can be solved in the space of a couple days like the pit stop glitch like why is that still in the game um, you know the, the turn one at mid Ohio all you have to do is make the boundary so it's, it goes around the red and white curb it doesn't take 
uh, a lot of time. It's not hard to do. I'm pretty sure it's not hard to do. I'm not a developer myself, but you know, I'm guessing there is sort of a track, you know, barrier or margin where if you go over that line, they're gonna it's gonna give you a penalty of the game. All they've got to do is just move that that boundary to the red and white curb. Um, I, I'm not quite sure how hard it is to actually do that. I don't know if it's to do with the, the actual pit exit because that's where that comes out of. And I know um, sometimes I think it's around Daytona. It doesn't use the actual pit exit. I don't know, I don't know if they've they don't know how to sort of code a pit exit coming out into the sort of uh, track or whatever. But um, you know, fix the stuff. Turn ten. It's getting quite annoying that it's still in the game after six months. Uh, but you know, I'm still making videos, I'm still having a lot of fun, but you know, them little niggles here and there is just sort of annoying to have in the game. So yeah, we'll come back to the racing. We're on, uh, or coming to the beginning of lap five now. We're just hanging into third position here, into the podium position. We're closing down second now, and uh, this is the guy who's going to be a rammer. Um, I think he got a little bit um, butt hurt. His ego got hurt a little bit that I was uh, faster than him. And I think probably a slower car around here. Uh, this car is pretty bad in the corners and I've set it up to be, it's supposed to be better in the corners, but it's still quite hard to drive. Uh, so yeah, I think he got a little bit butt hurt that we were trying to overtake him. I think he's in the, I keep saying this, the Ford Capri. I'm not quite sure if it is that one. They all look very similar, these cars. I've never actually seen these cars. I thought they was old NAS cars. But coming down the long straight here, we're coming to sort of left-hand side, coming uh, quite fast past him. And coming into here, he's gone onto the grass and just hit into the side of us there. That move just wasn't on at all. That was basically on purpose. It seemed like it was on purpose there. Um, he couldn't quite defend it properly. And uh, he had to go on the grass and hit the back of our car. And uh, we've lost the position back once again. And uh, unfortunately, the penalty, penalty system still isn't uh, into fruition. I, I still have doubts that, you know, once the penalty system fixed, that, you know, the, the, the game would give him a penalty for that. I'm not quite sure if it would. Um, I, I still have my doubts on that. Uh, but, yeah, um, I did get a little bit annoyed at him. But we're going to have one more lap at this. Uh, we're going to pit next lap uh, for the halfway distance pit stop. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be a little bit more cautious. I'm trying to push the car a little bit more there. You can see we made a little bit of a mistake. And uh, the guy in fourth position, as you can see there, Jimmy Lad 09, is also going to be the other rammer we're going to come across. I have no idea why he decided to ram us. Um, you know, he does it on purpose as well. I don't know if he's mates with Duffman as well, if there was in sort of a, a party together, because uh, they're sort of on similar pace and sort of somewhat together. Uh, but they sort of both did the same move on me uh, so I don't know if it was down to that but for some reason at the end of the race Jimmy Lad didn't take me out I had a little bit of a battle of, uh, with him um, so I'm not quite sure what happened there and you can see there I'm not really even though Duffman has taken me out I'm not really being that aggressive with him I'm not really pushing him into corners that much uh, or we might do it once or twice a bit further on but we can see we're not really you know dive bombing him going onto the grass uh, I tried to keep it fair and equal to be honest with you. Um, it kind of ruins the multiplayer and it kind of spreads that across where if you, you know, kind of give it back, you know, they're going to get annoyed and then going into the next multiplayer, they're going to end up dishing it out to someone else and it's just sort of a spiral situation. Uh, but coming to the end of lap six now, this is where we are going to pit and uh, coming into the pit uh, lane, we're going to try hang it around the outside there. We do embarrass him a little bit there. And he takes us out once again and uh, yeah some sort of little glitch happens here because we both end up spawning back onto the track and uh, fortunately we end up getting out in front of him so he's played an absolute idiot of himself there an absolute clown uh, tried taking us out twice and he's still behind us so i think we do have maybe jimmy lad in there as well so i'm not quite sure what what happens after the pit stops but i know something does happen uh, i don't know if he takes us out again um, I know Jimmy Ladd ends up taking us out as well so yeah coming out of the pit lane uh, we'll lose the back end a little bit coming on to the power and I'm just being a bit cautious here and I think we do hit the pause menu but we hit it quite late coming into the hairpin here and we can see Duffman or whatever he's called uh, takes us out quite on purpose uh, his fragile ego has been hurt he's not the fastest guy he's getting overtaken by a car uh, and, a, and a guy in a slower car uh, with a really bad setup on 
So well done to you. Uh, you've got a five second penalty as well. So uh, you're a bit of a, a, an idiot. Um, learn to drive a little bit better and faster. Uh, we can see he's taken out two other guys there I think as well. He's just been an absolute uh, idiot. And going back onto the track there. It's a bit unfortunate there with Rocky Gaming. Uh, I wasn't expecting him to spin out in front of us there. But we've got another guy for our silence who I think he probably would have taken us out there if we didn't ghost. And uh, we're being a bit aggressive here. This is where we are being a tad bit aggressive. We've got Jimmy Lad coming up there. He slides up into the inside. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a battle with him here. We've got a little bit better acceleration coming out of the corner. And we can see there on purpose, he takes us out. And you can see see why I was really annoyed at this point. There was just full of rammers. There were literally about three rammers there um, on us who just took us out on purpose for no reason. And uh, I was just sort of, I really wanted to close down Duffman just to re-overtake him once again, just to piss him off. Uh, I think we do in the end. I don't know what quite happens, but uh, for some reason, Jimmy Lad does decide to race fairly clean at the end now. Even though it was quite obvious, it was on purpose, he took us out there. Um, so I'm not quite sure what was going on there with him. Um, I think it's just people with fragile egos, to be honest with you, who can't face being overtaken here. Uh, but we can see we're having a little bit of a, a, a tussle with Rocky Gaming there, hitting the side uh, doors uh, together there. And we managed to make up the move a little bit. He might be a little bit salty at us because we did take him out, but I wasn't expecting him to sort of spin into the other guy there. It was a bit unfortunate, but coming into this corner here, he doesn't decide to take us out. And we can see there, the idiot is on the grass there, Duffman. We hit him into the back end. We push him out onto the dirt once again. He has a 7.25 uh, second penalty, and I think he should be disqualified at that point. We've got Jimmy Lad onto the back of us as well. He's taken us out, and he's hit us into the back once again. So Duffman has made a fool of himself, got on about a second penalty, and he's basically in the last position at this point. And then we've also got Jimmy Lad who took us out and is also behind us. So, uh, well done to you, to both of you. You both failed uh, at your job. Um, so, yeah, coming to sort of the beginning of lap nine now, the end of lap eight. I'm not quite sure if the podium's still on. We're still, you know, struggling uh, a little bit. We still haven't got the pace as much over other people. We can see Jimmy Lad uh, is keeping quite close to the back bumper, especially in that Audi uh, Quattro, I think it is. Uh, I think that is the best car in the series and we've got a couple of guys in front of us Jigger Joe who I think we might be able to dive bomb him into the hairpin here we're going to go to the inside there uh, he does break quite late there into the chicane but we're going to try to go for a little bit of a switchback going to the inside there it gives us a little squeeze but still kind of fair clean racing there we've got the better, better momentum coming out of the corner have the straight line speed and we're going to get up into fifth position so it's just about closing down Rocky Gaming into fourth. Third position is quite a little bit ahead. We've got about two laps to somewhat close them down. But I was still being a little bit cautious with Jimmy Lad because you know I wasn't I was I was keeping my finger over the pause button just so I could ghost at any time. Um, I was just being very cautious of over him. Um, I'm pretty sure it was on purpose. It looked like it was on purpose, so he just ended up taking out the rear of our car. And then he kind of race fairly clean you'll see in the last sort of lap or two he races us or races us fairly clean and then he ends up going into the pit stops on the last lap which was really odd uh, so it kind of gives me the indication that they might have been together Duffman uh, and Jimmy I'm not quite sure but um, we're just trying to keep uh, in front of him to be honest with you I don't really want him overtaking us at this point for, for what they've done and uh, we've got two points I'm trying to close down Rocky Gaming as best we can um, I'm not quite sure what car he's in it as well like I was saying there's a lot of uh, car variety in this series about 10 to 15 cars uh, overall which is um, good to see I like to see a lot of variety yeah, in these series that's what makes it uh, a lot of fun uh, when you can win in a lot of cars like I really enjoy being in a car like the Mustang here where it's quite clearly not the fastest car uh, but still when you're battling with people and you win races win it it's a lot more satisfying than you know just going in the Audi Quattro and uh, basically you know flying past everyone else I think the Ferrari as well is quite good so it's a lot more satisfying when you can do it in a slower car uh, but yeah we're still cl closing down Rocky Game through these corners we're closing up a little bit we're extending the gap to Jimmy Lad as well who's in the Audi and he's not got quite the pace uh, over us 
but yeah, we're just trying to be a little bit cautious, uh, trying to pick out the best overtake where and when. He does have a one second penalty rocky game, so we probably will take fourth position by just keeping behind him, but we don't know with Jimmy Lab behind us, and I kind of want to make the move on merit, on track as usual. Uh, but we're coming through the final corner to take the final lap now. And uh, Jimmy Lad's got a bit of a better exit through there, but we will have the straight line speed over him. Uh, we are taking the turn one cut there. I don't think uh, these two are at the moment, but I think uh, the guys in first and second are. And you might as well if it's there in the game. I feel a little bit guilty sometimes, but if it's there in the game, you might as well uh, take the advantage there. And uh, yeah, coming to the long straight now, we might possibly be able to make a move on Rocky Gaming here. If we've got the straight line speed, I don't know how fast this car is in a straight line. You can see we're getting into the slipstream a little bit. We're not closing down too much. You can see that Audi's losing more of the time. And coming down into this right-hander here, we'll go to the inside there. Take the inside curb. He hangs it around the outside there. Uh, some good clean racing there. And we're still going somewhat side by side and he's managed to make uh, or keep his position of P4 and we've also got Jimmy Lad on the back of us here I'm just still being really cautious about him I do not trust him at all but coming into here we go for a little bit of a switchback move through that corner we're still going side by side making a little bit of contact once again with Rocky Gaming some good fair clean racing here it is and we're not taking him out on purpose it gives us a little squeeze to the barrier there we try to hang it around the outside um, you know I think Jimmy Lad somewhat you know, squeezes through there and we're coming onto the grass there we slide back through and he actually ghosts us there. He actually jukes us a little bit there. I wasn't really trying to take him out. I was just trying to get back onto the track uh, as quick as possible. And for some reason, he decides to go in the pits. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if it was because he pressed pause. The car just went in, into the pit stops for some reason. I'm not quite sure. But we ended up finishing in P6. It was a bit of a mess of a race and uh, a lot of rammers.